What's going on guys, name's D Free. Welcome back to another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video. Today we're going to be showcasing the new mechanic called Categories. Now it's been out for uh, five or six days, maybe a little longer, but anyways, I wanted to take the opportunity to give you guys an in-depth explanation and a little bit of gameplay for it. It is only live at the moment on the Japanese version of the game, but we're going to do a little bit of gameplay on both stages that it is currently effective on, and which, if I make any mistakes, forgive me, feel free to correct me, but... You see the way the characters are pulsating. This is the Peachy Peachy Gal, <laughs> uh, or other otherwise Bay, the Bay Link. So I call it the Bay Link. So all right, I don't even know if Bulma's was the best leader for this. Either way, these are the category section down here at the bottom. I'm guessing eventually, as time progresses, more units will have it. But there's only two actual categories in the game at the moment. This one with all basically all the female characters. Uh, you can basically use them to build up any sort of team. Now, I don't think that, I'm pretty sure, in fact, that they do not get any sort of attack buffs or additional key or anything like that. It just is basically a luck mechanic. So if you've played other games like um, Brave Exvius or if you've played Naruto Blazing, they have a luck factor that it helps you improve your drop rates at the end of it. And this one is basically a little different. In this game, it wants you to bring a specific category to a specific event. For example, this category is very good for the uh, Mr. Satan run, which we'll do for the Zenny in a moment, but it's not active here. They're not pulsating. You have to bring this specific one, and the more characters with the actual category on them, the better your results will be. So let's go ahead and do a run. Of course, Vegito Blue does not have it. He's just there to help out with the leader skill, I guess. I mean, it doesn't really matter. But this stage, once again, the uh, Zenny stage that basically drops a statue, which once again, we'll do that in a minute, are the only ones that really have this active right now and you have to bring specific sets of characters. It's kind of cool because it is a bit of an incentive for you to go ahead and run specific characters. And once again, in the future, I'm assuming that they may have other, oh, okay, so they will have other categories. They didn't just create it just for like these subsets of units. But what I was gonna say is maybe they'll have leaders that say, hey, 150% up to this category or something like that. I think that it was either Alex or Nano or Tyler, um, one of them actually did a video like when this was kind of like in the works saying this could be like the new meta which is totally plausible you know going from the 120s to something like this it'd be pretty cool because as a youtuber you know i i probably have done the most different types of showcases and team showcases among a lot of my colleagues but basically i say colleagues colleagues but um so this is basically something i've been doing for a very long time is my point like a whole battlefield diva team or whatever uh, but it would be very cool if that was like the way that the game actually functioned, right? And you see I got three additional shells here as a bonus. So that's pretty much how it works. I was only going to get three. You can get three there. Once again, the rates improve based on, based on the number of additional characters that you bring with the link. So bringing one character with that category link on them will help it, but bringing two is better, so on and so forth. So we'll be right back in just a moment with a showcase of the World Tournament variant. Okay, so we are back. Now this time around, you see things have flipped. So this is the Zenny stage, basically. And uh, I haven't even gotten that Hercule to uh, LR. I know some people have already got him to LR, so congrats to you, but I don't, I don't care. I, I just don't care. Either way, this one is centered around using units that have something to do with the world tournament made an appearance in a world tournament or something like that once again this peachy peachy girl one is not triggered let's go ahead and jump in and see what happens here i think you can get like two or three additional statues from beating this stage with this active which is awesome so i'm gonna go i think that the it just kind of depends there's a pattern to which ones of these drop more um so this next one should give me more yeah over ten thousand, and this one should too See, yeah, there's a pattern to it. Like, it's like, I think it's like every other one. But then it breaks the pattern. Oh, okay, yeah, I hate you. They're definitely mapped, though. So, anyways, one thing that I was thinking about is uh, in regards to my comment previously about maybe this could be like something new. The problem with that is when they make like, oh, category Super Saiyan. Oh, <laughs> now you just run whatever damn team you want again. Because that's kind of what we do anyway. We run a full team of Super Saiyans on the hero teams. And it's like, oh, full team of Super Saiyans, and now you get improved drop rates, metal drop rates, whatever. 
And it's like, well, there was no point in introducing this mechanic. So maybe they won't give it to every character for that exact reason. Champ, let's see if you can beat yourself. But maybe they won't for that exact reason. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. But there's a lot of potential for it as far as what they give to it. But once again, it does not impact in battle stuff. Like you don't get additional damage, additional attacks. or It's not what it's for. It's just for helping improve your drop rates. So interestingly enough, it didn't do anything here. I did not get a bonus. Um, in fact, I know you can get more because I've seen it and I've done it myself personally. I actually did not get a bonus. Okay, so it's not guaranteed. I ran a full team of units with the category. I don't know what the improvement rate is. It could be like, I don't know, something minor like 20%, 10%, I don't know. But it didn't work that time, so it's not guaranteed. But this is gonna become a new way to allow you guys to farm in the game. Once again, it could be specific to a bunch of different events. But what'll be interesting is if in the future, which I expect it, but if in the future they have categories for Dokkan Festival events where you're going ahead and taking on the boss fight, and you know, traditionally those give seven medals or whatever, maybe the new units start requiring, and from 77 they go to like 100, for example, and you can get bonus on this, maybe you can farm a little quicker. I don't know, we'll see, but anyways, Hope you guys enjoy the quick little showcase of categories in Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> Have an awesome day, guys. I'll catch you later.